It was in 1948 that his idea for angle count sampling was first published. Because of its efficiency and simplicity in use, the idea spread like wildfire around the globe. Bitterleek employed the principles of geometry in a masterly fashion. Using a simplifying assumption, trees in a forest can be considered to be cones of different sizes. To apply angle count sampling, an observer in a forest inspects the trees in terms of a specified horizontal angle, termed the critical angle alpha. This angle is defined by having a target of width B attached to a rod of length L held in front of the observer's eye. To determine the sample, the observer rotates and views the trees around the sampling point. Each tree whose trunk is wide enough to exceed the viewing angle at the standard height of 1.3 meters, breast height diameter BHD, is counted in the sample. Trees whose trunk diameters are less than the viewing angle are excluded from the sample. The sampling concept depends on a simple geometric law of proportionality. The ratio of the area of a circle of diameter BHD bears a constant relationship to the area of ground the circle traces out if rotated about the observation point at radius r. Thus, each tree counted relates to a specific circular area of ground, the basal area, related solely to the viewing angle as defined by dimensions B and L. The ratio K, the basal aerial density, measured in square meters per hectare, is also termed the basal area factor. Thus, each tree counted, irrespective of its breast height diameter, represents the identical basal area density. Hence, the total base area density can be determined by multiplying the number of trees included in the sample by the factor K. Building on this concept, Bitterlich began to construct instruments that would simplify timber stand assessment. For example, it was necessary to automate corrections for stands on sloping ground. After several intermediate designs, Bitterlich was able to develop an instrument he termed the Spiegel Relescope, mirror relescope, that became famous worldwide. 